And what is going on, guys? This is All Ollie at Ruby, of course, for Wolfpack Productions, where you can be sure big things pop and little things stop. And today, not only do I have a new computer, yay! But on this episode of From the Collection, it's the Retron 3 HD's turn. And let's take a look at the a quick look at the system. You got your three ports right here. You have your NES, Genesis, and Super NES. Actually, no, I got that backwards. Super. This is a NES, Genesis, Super NES. And on the back, <laughs> you've got an HDMI port. That's nifty for me because I don't have any TVs that support uh, AV. You have your uh, USB power butt power here. Mine's plugged into the computer. Um, <clears throat> you have your AV ports for those of you that, that want to just do the old school thing. And I don't know what the switch <laughs> is here, but I found a switch on bottom that I didn't know existed here. Notice that you can flip from NTSC to PAL. And then on the Sega side, you can do the same thing, which is pretty cool. You have NTSC Japan, United States, and PAL. See? <coughs> now let's see how this handles the games. I'm not going to be able to do any Genesis games just because of the fact that my Genesis controller doesn't work. So we're going to be using... My SNES NES adapter for most of these. Well, the NES part anyway. Anyway, I have Nintendo World Cup right here. We're going to play until halftime and see how it works out. Let's give it a go. And we're back, and uh, we're using a uh, Super NES controller that's adapted for an NES with the little adapter that we got here. <coughs> okay, so... B is pass, Y is shoot if you're using an NES controller. Y function, or on the Super Nintendo to NES controller like I have, Y is A and B is its normal button. We're in the blue, Cameroon's in the red. And what I just tried to do there is a super kick kind of thing, a special kick, but I missed it. That's a special kick that you have to do with timing and timing only. But because we got one more game to get to after this, we're only playing to half. If it's a tie, so be it. Cut and dry, simple soccer game here. Football, if you're from the European areas. If they just, Cameroon just scored a goal on me, that doesn't normally happen. But I'm rusty at this, so give me a break. Okay, so you have to have the ball up pretty high in the air to execute the super kick. The super shot, okay. Guess I won't call it a super kick. I mistimed that, but it still shot forward and hit somebody. <laughs> so you, that diving super shot helps. I like the back flipping one though. <laughs> Definitely, that looks like something you might see at a World Cup, actually. Alright, so we're down one nothing. 
see what I can do to fix that. <laughs> I was kind of out of position there. This time. I'm gonna kind of get the volley going and see if we can get that shot going. shot it right in with the header. <laughs> that usually works too, but the backflip shot seems to work better. If you can get it timed right. Right now. Nope. It took an odd balance actually, so right now wasn't the best time to do it, but our teammate almost had a goal there. <laughs> I'm not reviewing this game because I've already done it, so... There it is! Unfortunately, though, I was a little bit off, but that's what the super shot looks like. Jeez, took out three of their players? My goodness. Didn't think I'd hit that hard into it, but okay. I think he didn't touch that. That goes to us. shoot from back there. Now, there's nobody back there, Goalie. Your guys are all down. <laughs> See if I can get a little bit of a volley going here. Not enough of one, apparently. I love the music in this game, by the way. <laughs> Why do I keep missing? I thought I had it. It's not going to go in. It's a little to the left. So you got to be lined up perfectly or obviously it's going to miss. Free kick of mania here. That... And that's going to end it. We lose this round, but... We'll be back with the uh, next part of this in just a second, everybody. And of course, we're back with the final game of the day, only because I can't do a Genesis game due to my controller not working. Anyway, this is American Gladiators on the SNES. This was on the channel before as well. Wanna go tournament? I'm only going to play one round for you guys. <laughs> now this one, as I mentioned in an earlier review... You know what? Let's go back and hear what I said in that review, shall we? We're not going to be reviewing the SNES game because it's basically the same as the Genesis game. Of course, minus one event, but that's Human Cannonball and it's not really worth talking about. And of course, we're back now. <laughs> Let me see if I remember the controls to this. Of course, again, we're not reviewing it because, well, I've already done it. 
So, I know I missed game. Thank you for warning me. I have a disdain for a game that likes to taunt people. Oh well, I suck in assault, but Joust is next. Always next. Robots. God damn it. Human cannonball. Let's see if I can do this correctly. Spoiler, probably not. Nope, missed a little too far right. Too slow, actually. <coughs> Let's see, next, um... This is Atlas Sphere. I think Joust is a little bit later, actually. If I remember my... There he is correctly here. This is a little bit slower than the Genesis version, I, no I notice. I don't think I'm a fan of this particular version of the American Gladiators video game, as I've said before. <laughs> it feels like it, the, slow, the slower pace makes it maybe control a little bit tighter than the Genesis version, which is a good thing in this case. The Genesis one, you could literally roll over a pod and not score even though you were right on it. I've had that happen a few times. Doesn't seem like that's an issue here, though. Just knock the guy right out and take his pot place. 6-3 final there. <clears throat> Let's see what's up next. Anything? Yeah, joust. Okay. <laughs> 45 seconds, although I swear it was 60 on the show. But... Idea here, take that blue Q-tip and knock your gladiator off the platform. The gladiator is always in the white. I'll explain the rules to each game, but I'm not going to explain the controls. I've already... I've reviewed every American Gladiators game already, and I'm... Not about to get back into that. Might revisit them later, though. Yes, <laughs> we pick up 10 there. 10 points for a win, 5 for a draw, and jack crap for losing. 17 to 3 lead. After 4. Wall. Next. Nope, Powerball, then wall. God, I hate the wall. And I guess that's going to end it because this thing just glitched. We'll be back with the, my final thoughts in just a minute. So, you may ask, what are my final thoughts? Well, before I get there, I got a little bit more to show you. Pretty good quality box art here. Box as a whole. You flip it over, it tells you everything you need to know that comes with this bad boy. Of course, it shows clear controllers on the front, but I've got the black and red, which is fine. I prefer the black and red, actually, so. I like the fact that it comes with an NTSC PAL switch, so I could import, you know, European games if I wanted to, and I may do that. I may do that. <laughs> anyway, my final thoughts on this little bad boy right here. Unlike the Retron 5, this thing is a quality emulation system. Like I said, you've got your three slots right here. Everything on back here. And you've got a pretty solid controller, and, like we've been doing the entire review, you can use the real controllers. So I definitely, uh, I definitely recommend paying whatever it is, the $100, $115, I think it, he said it was, that my friend said that he got this for. I do recommend getting a Retron 3 HD. It's definitely worth it, unlike the Retron 5. But uh, I'm not going to sit here and trash the 5. I don't have one anymore, so... Anyway, guys, leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. And remember, always keep your big things popping and your little things stopping.